Be back with the Alaska State Dynasty in year one. We are halfway through the season. Coming in on a two and three record, the last two games were absolutely huge wins. We're gonna see if we can bring that back. We're gonna see if we can bring this momentum into week seven against Boise State. Last week at San Diego State, we had a huge game defensively with one of our stars, Max Medic, getting an interception, his first of his collegiate career, but most importantly, the senior Bryce Todman coming in with two picks, one of them being a pick six. But hopping back to Medic here, getting his first interception in only his sixth ever game. Excuse me, fifth ever game is very very huge the true freshman safety captain of the team really really big staple in the series let's get a little update on these recruits here prince adawachu very very close to committing here we have him on the visit this week we need to seal this win down to gerald orlando improviser qb we have him on a visit for week nine he is close to committing if we had some hours maybe we could toss him in there Get him closer, but we really don't. And other than that, we're pretty much in the lead for everyone that we are following. Except this right tackle from Juco right here. We sent the house, not doing too well. Actually, we can send an offer right here. So I'm going to go ahead. We'll see where we're at next week. We are rocking the throwbacks today. The 1990 throwbacks. And we will be playing the moments from now on. So just a thing to like throw out there. Um, that last games that we played, they might have been on a lower difficulty. You know, after the update, it kind of screwed up all my dynasties and put them on a lower difficulty. Even though it showed Heisman, it was like varsity, I'm pretty sure. But that is all fixed. So here we are in beautiful Alaska, man. Rooks Rayleigh throws an interception first play that that seems more like us seems more like us you know ruined the good field position we'll see if it throws us on defense i doubt it throws me on defense at the four yard line like am i really gonna help here no we are not throwing us out on defense once again 11 yard line and we don't help at all as he breaks all of us and gets into the end zone you gotta be kidding two minute drill get some points we are down 35 nothing Th 35 nothing okay all right well we don't have our first option. We really don't have anyone. They want me to run the ball? Are you serious? I mean, Cameron Chuckum had a great game, but this is a different game. Oh my god, we got the first down with him. Clock is left running. And it's inaccurate. Third and ten. Have to get rid of it. I'm forcing it in a very tight hole. Down 35 nothing. Why would we punt? Why would we? Try to aggressive that, and he just cannot hold on to it. So we're probably down 50 nothing now. Maybe 60. Oh, they are in the fives. And now they're in the six. Wow. We, we honestly... We may have to change conferences. We might not be built for the Mountain West yet. We might just not be. Because this is ridiculous. This is truly, truly ridiculous. There might be a conference change in play next season. And this is, uh, this is not looking good at all. Bounced into the air. Should have been picked off. But it's a turnover on downs. They're now at 66 as we hold them to a field goal on defense. Unbelievable, truly. Underneath, wide open. Take whatever yardage we can get. Two interceptions and they're up 66 points. That is kind of hard to believe. It's all good. They always have someone over the field and I'm just not seeing it. Not seeing it whatsoever. 
Man, am I horrible. They're really throwing us up on defense for the last play of the game. I mean, oh well. Maybe there will be a run. Maybe I can, you know, get a big hit here, but I doubt it. As William Gazen Jr. runs right past him. I settle his chance at a good tackle. And that is the final. 66 to 0. Unbelievable. Going into the next week, and we got the running back committed. That is huge. Three star gem running back committed. Alaska State's first commit. And we are going into UL Monroe, jumping out of conference. But first, let's go back to the recruits baby so this qb is slowly getting out of reach for us but thankfully we just got some hours back i'm removing all this and we are sending the house to him baby or should we go with a hard sell if he has good interest no we gotta go send the house now this qb is a backup plan it doesn't look like many teams are valuing them that much i will go ahead dm him search his social media as well and next week we might offer a scholarship to give us a big lead now rice overtook us on this right end here we are going to do a soft sell and that is all he's interested in those are actually pretty good grades on his interest as well san diego state overtakes us on the right outside linebacker do not like that at all we might have to do a soft sell on him as well. And everyone else seems to be even. Now the right tackle. We have a huge lead on. And I'm really hoping this man isn't a bust. I wonder if I should use the rest of my hours to scout him. I think that's the move that I'm going to take. As we are out of hours, it seems like pretty good stats to me. We'll figure out next week. If he is a bust or not. He does not have any abilities, which kind of freaks me out. But he does have a mental winning time still can't believe we lost cal Milat to boise state we are so close on him but i'm keeping him on the board because he can flip commitment it's really rare but he can so we're gonna need a miracle for that to happen all right going in against the ul monroe warhawks they are coming out in their amazing alternate unis and we're immediately getting thrown out here on defense immediately trying to help this defense they are already at the 13 30 seconds into the game user in william gazen jr up at the top of your screen and he has nothing to do with that play but we get a good stop of two yards switching over to max medic on the opposite side of safety here putting their fullback tight end in motion maybe and it is a read option that we terribly messed up on and they walk right into the end zone. Oh my goodness here. Helping the defense in the red zone once again within a minute. Only a yard on that play. But man, oh man, is this not looking good. Now I think this might be a run play here. This might be that same read option. It definitely could be. And it was. But we cannot stop the run. They are really running these RPOs down our throat. And we can't catch him. He just dives into our player into the end zone. Unbelievable. Can we please get some offense here? I don't want to hop in defense again. Okay, third down. I guess I will. But that is going to do it for the first quarter. But we did score a touchdown. The CPU scored a touchdown. If we only have 16 seconds time of possession, we got a touchdown? Hold on, I'm interested here. How on earth did we score that touchdown? It was a one-play, 75-yard passing touchdown for Ross Rayleigh here. Did I call him Rooks earlier? Oh my goodness, I might have. Alright, third and six here. Sending the blitz. He has nowhere to go and we get a sack. That is a huge stop on third down in the red zone. Holding them to three. Red zone. They're throwing me on offense here. Let's go. Started off with a halfback stretch to the right. Get some blocks there, please. Oh my god. This offensive line is horrible. So, so, so bad. I'm 
barely able to get that pass off. Third down and 12. We got a backup QB coming in here. Read option. And he took it himself. Fourth and 14. As long as we can make this field goal, which it's going to be tough. No, it ain't. Drilled. Seven point game now. Not the worst situation. Wish we could have came up with a touchdown there. Third and three. They're throwing me in here. We really need short routes here. Short, short, short routes. We need them to come open underneath. Aggressive. Hold on. With song, baby. That was not with song. And they take me out. Are you serious? Why did they take me out? 19 yard field goal. They want me to kick here. Are you kidding? No, 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 no. If we're this far down, we are not kicking the field goal, baby. Come on. Like, are, are you serious, bro? Now, I want to throw him on a corner, but I kind of want him to the right. Okay, interesting. Uh, This might not work. It worked, baby. Ross Rayleigh. Touchdown to Cameron Chuckum out of the backfield. Let's get it. All we need is that kick for a tie game. Wait, we got an interception. We got an interception at some point. It said interception, but it doesn't put me on offense. We're back on defense in the red zone here. Gotta hold them to at least three. And where are our corners going? Are they terrified of the ball? They're scared. They're scared of the ball. Really getting diced by General Booty out here, but I am making sure I'm offense for this last drive. I cannot let them get the ball back. No chance I let that happen. Right? Wasong. He's inbound, so we got to call time out there. Maybe, just maybe, we can march down the field and get a touchdown. It is just very possible. In my opinion. With Song. Could be gone over the middle. I did not see that man in the middle of the field. 61 yarder. They want me to kick this. Um, I mean, I can try. It might be short. Oh my god. No way. It was short and a little bit to the left. And they get good field position. I really hope they didn't score from that. Okay, well, they scored at least in the third quarter. Let's start this drive with running the ball. Pretty decent run for Alaska State, I'd say. Let's go to the screen game. Keep this game with Cameron Chuckum. Cameron Chuckum has been the game changer of this game, I truly believe. And there he goes. An open field, hitting with the juke. Down to the 46-yard line. We are almost across midfield. Go with a play-action pass. Might be able to find Cameron out of the backfield, and I don't. And I'm throwing a really contested ball. Oh, my God. That's bad. It's real bad. And this is not good at all. We have to take the sack. Nothing is open there. Like, are you kidding me, bro? Get a block. 11 yards on that play, and honestly, Coach Zantac is feeling a little aggressive today. UL Monroe, he's 2-4. and four. What does he have to lose? He wants a bowl game. He got to go for it. And he's immediately sacked because the left tackle is absolutely horrendous, and he's about to lose his job, I swear to God. Back to key moments. They're putting us out here for a big third down to make the stop. And this is a very big third down by the looks of it. Third and eight. They are not in field goal range. Dump it off to the running back and we tackle them. Can it put us on offense though? It does on third down. See if we can get this ball out before the end of the quarter. We do. Ross Rayleigh. And is dropped by the tight end. The backup tight end. Best believe I'm staying out here. We need to keep this drive alive. This is what they put me out here for. I'm going to do it with song wide open on the out route, baby with song is becoming one of my favorite targets. The absolute track star of Alaska state made this football team because there isn't many options and there is Cypress over the middle of the field. We finally connect with him in this game. First and goal. See if we can get a good run going here. The blocks are pretty good and we get to the four yard line. Now Ross Rayleigh feeling a little bit of that wear and tear in the right ankle. Definitely taking a toll on some of his stats here. 
with song and it is picked off he jumps the route are you kidding me bro oh i strike again man says the game is on the line we need a stop see if we can do that for this team Gazen Jr. unblocked with a tackle in open field. Oh, he meets Medic at the first down line, and he pushes right through him. They might run this one the whole way down to the two-minute warning. Let's see if they even snap the ball here. And they do. And he had a wide receiver wide open, and it bounces right off his hands. What on earth am I looking at? Medic unblocked. Misses the big hit on him, but they only gain a yard, and now we have to start using these timeouts. Really reserve the clock here. The clock is key, but we also need a stop right here. As they run it on in third and nine, we get the tackle fourth and four, and they have to punt. They have to punt. Two with Song. The track star can absolutely change this game with a big return, but it is into the end zone. I'm just going to take the touchback. Coming out on offense, you best believe we are playing this whole drive. Cameron chuck him out of the backfield. I want to throw him on a corner route. If they're playing, man, it could be very open. It doesn't look like it's going to be. And I'm taking a sack. See if we're going to have anyone open over the middle. Cameron chuck him is first down sea otters let's go baby let's keep this rolling really shouldn't go with a play action play this late in the game whenever we're not going to be running the ball but the tight end is wide open with tons of field man let's go montgomery we really need a tight end to replace him once he leaves man that is going to be a big hole but cameron chuck him out of the backfield wide open we're kind of leaving a lot of clock here for you on monroe if they get the ball back and because of that i'm gonna try and run it but cameron chuckham looks gassed he looks so gassed from catching that ball and i absolute i step out of bounds are you kidding me good run just to run out of bounds whenever i'm talking about the clock here back up running back in bell the more power back back does not get the first down but that clock is moving let's go to an rpo here i like the rpo right here cameron chuck him back in the game if it's not there i'm hitting cypress i'm hitting cypress even though there's no blocks i think i let this clock go down to 15 take our final time out and we gotta take whatever's open here man whatever's open in this play no matter what if it's cameron chuck him if it's montgomery cypress does not matter. Cypress could be open on a little speed out right here. And it's a horrible route. B is open and he calls for it. And it's picked off in the end zone. Oh, we lose like that. It's fine. Because we lost under me. The CPU didn't lose that for us. It was all me, man. Horrible decision making. Horrible plays. We need to make a change here. And something needs to happen fast if we want to even see a bowl game. Recruiting update in week 9. We lost Gerald Orlando on his visit week. And I am going to keep him on the board. But like I said about Jeremillo here. He's not exactly the QB that I'm looking for. But being a gem QB. I feel like he's valuable. Go ahead and offer the scholarship. See if that puts us even higher at a bigger lead. Oh, this guy really, really wants to go to Rice, man. It's not good. Remove social media. We're going to do a quick soft show. Soft. Wait. Remove that. We're doing a hard sell on him. Hard sell. That has to put us above Rice, man. Lost the right outside linebacker. We're losing every commit, man. Can I just not commit? Like, is, do I have issues? And got the running back, power back, who has 93 speed, looks insanely good. Insanely well balanced by the looks of it. That was his visit. Bro's visit was a 66 to nothing blowout. And that was just, wow, unbelievable. But week nine, pretty sure at this point, actually, if we want to even be eligible for a bowl game, we have to win out. And that is just not going to happen. Let's be real here. So 
Let's just go into the game against Nevada. We're gonna be rocking the base home unis. Nevada in their base away, and let's go underway. Throwing us out here on the opening drive for third down. It's kind of a weird play to run here. Could work on one of the tight ends out routes, but they get bumped at the line. Just take the check down to chuck them. Take whatever's there. I hate that they take me out right after that. Like, let me finish the drive. I'm finishing it myself, you know? I'm the head coach. I make the rules. Run the ball here on first and 10. Horrible blocking by the right guard. But we get four yards, which isn't horrible, actually. See if we can run some motion here with Rasong. Catch him off guard into a play action. And I can't even throw the ball away. I cannot throw anything. Immediate pressure, immediate sack. Third and 12. Cannot take a sack here. It'll get us out of field goal range. And I throw it out of there. 49 yard attempt time. Little to the left, but it is good. 3 nothing. Take the lead for now. Going back to the key moments. Okay, red zone alert. We are in the red zone. Run one of these end arounds with Wasong. Probably one of the best plays for our playmaker. Get an open field, hit a juke. And that is a big rush right there. Eight yards. Probably one of the biggest rushes we will get. But let's see if Chuckum can get in the end zone from eight yards out, and he obviously cannot. All right. Running it with Cameron Chuckum once again. I love me some Cameron Chuckum, man. Is he faster than him? He is breaking the plane into the end zone. Touchdown, Sea Otters, baby. Let's get it. We're up 10-0 on Nevada. Feeling good about this game currently. But it can change at any time. Cameron Chuckum is truly becoming a star for this team a song underneath with a first down love me some a song too now ross rayleigh being a senior we are going to have a replacement next season and maybe just maybe that might be a true freshman but he gets it to keelan black the second no keelan black is a junior sorry made a mistake there i'm pretty sure he's a junior throw it up can chuck him get there oh my god he does Cameron Chuckum, you maniac. Touchdown, Alaska State. We find Wasong in the end zone, just wide open, sitting in the zone. Little bit weird of a play here, especially for us, because no one really ever gets open, but there is Montgomery, the senior tight end. Very slow, anyone can catch up to him. Go, all go. See if Wasong can beat him with that 99 speed. He does. Is that a good throw? It is. Touchdown, Alaska State. Wissong, baby. He might have to drop track and go to the NFL if he keeps on having these performances. Then what am I looking at? How did this score get this close? Oh my goodness. We need a big stop. We need a big, big stop. Boom by Max Medic, but he holds on to the football. Must hurt to be that guy, man. They're definitely trying to bleed all the clock here, and this has to be... Oh, they faked it. They they faked me out. This is unbelievable. How are we behind now? And how did they get the ball back? Are you kidding me? Alaska. What are we doing? We get it. Oh my god. We got the tackle in the, in the open field. I'm playing the rest of this game. I have to. They're going for it on fourth and one. This has to be a run. No doubt in my mind this will run. No doubt. Medic with the open field tackle, baby. We take over the ball. Game winning drive. I swear, bro. Turn around, Montgomery. And he drops it. That is not good. Oh my goodness. Sea Otters, baby. Those two wins in a row might be the only win that we get all season, man. That's really sad to face it as reality. But that looks like it's reality here in Fairbanks, Alaska. But Cameron Chuckum finds another way to get wide open. And that is a Sea Otters first down. Come on, baby. Come on. Hit that. Hit that. 
Chuck em, baby. You know, sometimes you just gotta hit the chuck em check down and everything will be alright. But with Song, the safety, helping up top. Keelan Black the second can't get to it. That ball was flying. Taking Montgomery underneath. Shorten the sticks a little bit. Third and four. Oh my god, I'm debating a run here, but I don't think we do. We might have to take the check down to chuck him. And we are. He catches it. Can he get there though? Oh my goodness, fourth and inches. Okay, we do have a QB sneak. We're going to sneak. Oh my god, talk about inches. Are you serious? Alright, thank god we get that. Why am I no huddling? I don't know. Let's see if we can make something happen with this play action play. Roll out. And that is dead. Don't know what I was thinking there. I'm going to be honest. Do not know. Let's see. New play. Montgomery, he got caught up to after having a lead on the route. That is how truly slow of a tight end he is. God, hurry up and hike this ball. Cypress. Oh my goodness. What a risky throw by me. I am, I am very sorry for Ross Rayley, man. Come on. Huge play here. B, over the middle. With Song. Oh my god. In between players. He's weaving in between players. And finds the end zone. Alaska State, baby. I knew I could do it. Ross Rayleigh knew he could do it. Touch. Down. We gotta go for two. Make this a three-point game. Them having seven seconds. They could easily get in the field goal range fast. I have to be careful. Was song again, Ross Rayleigh's favorite target, everyone's favorite target. The Sea Otters are now up by three. What a drive, what a drive. I'm gonna squib this one, try to get time off the clock, and stop a big return from happening. They have four seconds. They're coming out, inhale Mary. We're coming out and prevent. We're giving all the cushion in the world. And we're using William Gazen Jr., baby. No way are we going to let this happen. It is soared out of bounds and incomplete. Alaska State wins the football game. Alaska State getting their third win of the season. And a win in the last game. Look at JC with song. Four catches, 74 yards, and three touchdowns. He always finds a way to be open whenever it really truly matters. He wants that ball and he wants it in the end zone. What a game. Nevada, Alaska State. Alaska State with the upset moving to 3-5, and 1-1 one and one in the conference. And that now means that we have four games remaining and they will have to be in another episode. All of the recruiting for the next week is going to be covered at the start of the next episode. But so far, just for another recap, we have only gotten one commit, and it has been Prince Adewachu. Adewachu. I am completely botching this man's name, but you get it. I'm really hoping Gerald Orlando saw that game and flips his commit to Alaska State, baby. Because we are better than North Texas. But if not... We got a little backup plan in Caesar Jaramillo. Make sure y'all boys sub. We are on the road to a thousand subscribers, so appreciate y'all boys so much. Make sure to like the video. Let's get this one to 10 likes. You know what I'm saying? Let's hit it, baby. Y'all liking this series, liking the sea otters? Let me know in the comments down below. And check out the team store, the top link in the description. If you're interested in anything Alaska State, we got it. Without further ado, my boy, I'm out.